Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome into another Top 10 video. I know that you probably thought that I forgot about this series, but it is Thursday and I'm trying to stick with that tradition, or at least bring back that series. And I have a very spooky episode today for uh, the Top 10 series, and I mean... I guess spooky, scary, because it's it's Halloween, and happy, happy Halloween, everyone. I should have said that at the beginning, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, but we're going to look at the top 10 scary or spooky comic book characters that we've never gotten in minifigure form. Now, I can't really break this down because, really, like, things scare people differently, right? I guess there's more scary things like, uh, I guess, like, vampires or zombies or different things like that that are more scary than, like killers and different things or just crazy people which we'll look at on the list but uh, anyways again uh, this is it's not really scary but you know if you are kind of like just frightened by simple things like that I mean I wouldn't necessarily watch this video but anyways really there's only one clear um, one that I think is the scariest but we'll get to it and it's DC and uh, anyways it's again minifigures it's characters that we've never gotten before in minifigure form or in Lego form but anyway, starting things off, we have Mephisto, and this is a Marvel character, and he is an extra-dimensional demon whose origins are unknown. He rules a fiery pocket dimension that he calls H-E double hockey sticks. And yes, so he's a pretty spooky guy. Uh, you know, he's he's... He's a Doctor Strange villain, and really most of the characters on this list are really Doctor Strange villains. I mean, this guy's more of a Marvel villain anyways, like he was actually in the Ghost Rider movies, so he is a Ghost Rider foe as well. But anyways, moving on to the next character. We have one, I think, we have one that I don't think I've ever put in a top 10 list, but he definitely is a Batman villain that they actually referenced in the Lego Batman movie, but it is Professor Pig, or, or Laszlo Valentine. And yes, uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, he is a, <laughs> I can't, I'm reading the descriptions and I can't say this because uh, it's pretty dark stuff. Anyways, he, he's a, he's a plastic surgeon. Yes. So uh, he, he's an interesting character. He's appeared on Gotham and I actually have on screen now my version from Gotham because I can't show you any of the versions from the comics. But moving on, we have another character that I actually made and it is Mr. Sinister, an X-Men villain, and we'll probably never get him. I'm not really sure what's happening with Lego and X-Men and different things like that, but uh, I was just looking at some of his like descriptions and different things, and uh, I think it's fine, but I can read it. He is a ruthless and sadistic man who has no compunctions about ruining uh, other people's lives or taking what he wants. <clears throat> Again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making this kid-friendly to the best that I can. Uh, he prefers to operate in the shadows, letting his lackeys and unsuspecting dupes do his dirty work. He is very cruel, confident, and unsympathetic, and expects total obedience from his underlings. And I was just looking at his list of powers, and man, this guy is insane. And unfortunately, it was what the Fox movies were working towards, but we'll never get to uh, see him. But uh, anyways, next we have Victor Zaz. Again, a character that we've talked about before, but uh, Lego has put him in video games in the past. He was in the first Lego Batman video game. But will we ever get him? I don't know. He is a... Uh, <laughs> it's really hard to like... What can I say here? Um, he is a... Sometimes a hitman. Um, but uh, he belongs in Arkham. Yes. <laughs> he definitely belongs there. But uh, moving on to the next character, it's a Marvel one, and he actually has a movie that has already been filmed with Jared Leto. You know, the, the everyone's everyone's favorite Joker. But uh, anyways, it is, of course, going to be Morbius the Living Vampire. And vampires are very scary stuff. Yes, I want to drink your blood. But, you know, it, I mean, he is a pretty pretty scary guy, and he's, he, he's an anti-hero, I guess, at times and he teams up with like different people but he's also a villain and i don't know i have no interest in this character and i can't believe that he's getting a movie but he belongs on the list because he is scary and spooky but also like who knows maybe he will be in like a spider-man set when the movie comes out maybe as like a team up or maybe he will be the villain of it but we'll have to wait and see but anyways 
Moving on to a DC character. When I was looking up scary comic book characters, the character was constantly being mentioned. And yeah, it was Swamp Thing. I mean, the only scary thing about Swamp Thing was how bad the show was, am I right? <laughs> But uh, anyways, Lego really seems to like him. They put him in a lot of uh, video games, and I think that he would make a really cool-looking big figure. I would love to see him in a set going up against, like, Poison Ivy or something like that. It would just, I don't know, it would be really cool. Or even just to get a Justice League Dark set with him and Constantine and Dead Man and uh, different people like that. I think that that would just be so awesome. But uh, hopefully soon. I think that that would be really great. I'd love more... DC big figures and I think that he's a really excellent choice for that um, He is definitely a DC hero, I guess anti-hero. Um, yeah, but he's definitely one that we need uh, to protect the green but uh, moving on to the next character is one that has been in an MCU movie and it is Dormammu, Dormammu! 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 He's on the list here, but anyways, Dormammu's from the Dark Dimension, and uh, I can't... He, he He's a bad guy. He's a bad bloke, and uh, he's been a big baddie of Doctor Strange, and I think that it would be really great to get him in some sort of form down the line, uh, whether it be in... I don't know. Maybe he's going to be in the Doctor Strange movie in the sequel... Not really sure, but I think that it'll be cool to maybe get a brick build of him or even a minifigure, which we've seen in different LEGO Marvel video games, so I think that that would be pretty cool. But uh, moving on to the next one on the list, we have the Black Lanterns. And this is essentially DC's version of zombies. Now, I didn't want to just include Marvel zombies because, you know, those are just zombies. Ooh, spooky stuff. But it's 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 a little different with this. Um, Black Lanterns are slain and deceased beings from throughout the universe who fell into the dominion of the dead they are the army of necron and the lord of the lord of unliving and their purpose is to eliminate all of life the black lanterns are wielded by the deceased the symbol of black power rings is the same symbol used by green lantern supervillain black hand so yeah there is this uh villain actually who is a black lantern and probably the most well known one and i don't know it's just it's always something that you see uh, different versions of characters which people really like, like Batman's Black Lantern or different things like that. And of course you get the White Lanterns, of course, was from the same sort of comic run. I think it was uh, by Jeff Johns. Yes, creators Jeff Johns. So really spooky stuff. I think that they're just more scary than the Marvel ones simply because it's not like, hey, everybody's infected and... And oh no, this this guy's trying to eat me or whatever. This is like actually like there's there's this actual force behind it. You know what I mean? But anyways, I could be wrong about this Marvel stuff. Again, I apologize. I'm sure I'm going to be hearing comments because at some point in this video, I've said something wrong. But uh, speaking of which, we will actually be getting a what if episode on the Disney streaming service of if Captain America was a zombie or something like that. So depending on whether or not Lego does do sets based off the Marvel TV shows, maybe that could pop up in a set. I'm not really sure the context of all that. We don't know yet, so we'll have to wait and see. But that's definitely a potential figure or maybe even an SDCC figure or something, depending on how well the shows do and stuff like that. But Moving on, uh, while we're on the topic of Marvel, here's the last one that I'm going to mention in this video, and it is a Nightmare. And just by name, you know, that's pretty scary. I, I mean, Dormammu and Swamp Thing, but Nightmare, you know, you, you know this guy's up to no good. But anyways, uh, this is actually going to be the villain of the Doctor Strange movie sequel. So I thought that he was really important to mention here, and uh, it'll be interesting to see who winds up playing him. But of course... If it isn't that scary of a movie, which they are saying it's going to be the scariest one, um, I'm sure that we'll be getting sets on it, at least one set. So if he is the main villain of that, I can really expect to see him there. It'll be cool to get him probably in minifigure form, I hope. Moving on to the final character on this list. It is a DC one, and uh, if you're not familiar with lanterns and stuff like that, here's, here's another scary one. His name is Parallax, and he is a demonic parasite entity dating back to the dawn of time. This parasite was the sentient embodiment of fear so he's literally fear and traveling from world to world and causing entire civilizations destroying them out of paranoia and he takes on different hosts so he's he's been Hal Jordan and he's been Kyle Rayner and Barry Allen he's he's actually quite scary looking so I'm not going to show you all pictures of all that stuff but uh yeah Parallax is definitely one that I think 
I don't think we'll ever get. I I have a feeling maybe with the Green Lantern show, maybe I don't I don't know. I, I'm reaching here, but I would love to get some more lantern based sets with Red Lanterns and Lara Fleas and the Indigo Tribe and Saint Walker and all these other lantern characters and stop giving us batman characters the, the, the lanterns have such this rich tapestry of characters like parallax here which would just be so cool to see and by the way he, he was actually in the green lantern movie the one with uh deadpool you know <laughs> anyways everyone i hope that you understand what this list was meant to be maybe i didn't explain it properly but i wanted to look at the most popular marvel and dc characters and look at the ones that i thought were the scariest and who belong on this list of characters that we've never gotten in in minifigure or lego form before and of course like some of these characters aren't as bad as some of the characters that we've already gotten like just look at all the things the joker's lit done like look at that long list of things that he's done pretty horrible stuff and doesn't even shine a light on any of the guys listed here some of the things but uh, same with like cletus cassidy carnage and venom and all that stuff you know there's I can list off all these characters that Lego's already made. So really, I don't think that some of the ones on this list are as bad as them. And I think that at least some of the DC ones, especially the classic Batman villains, we really need to get. But uh, anyways, everyone, what do you think of this? On this list, who would you like to see made into minifigure form? Uh, for me, it still definitely is Victor Zaz out of all these, but uh, Professor Pig would be a, another one that I want, as well as Swamp Thing. But again, I'm really biased with this, like DC over Marvel. But uh, anyways, is there anybody that I left out that we haven't gotten many figures for? Anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy the video. I hope that you all had a good Halloween. I will see you all in the next one.